If the bison tells us that large landscapes can heal, that there can be some hope for conservation, that rewilding is possible, and both the privilege and the duty of us two-leggeds, the ferret tells us that those healed landscapes must be complete, from the largest grazer to the pickiest predator, if we want to preserve our prairie community. That's the moral heart of the ferret story. It's not about nostalgia, or guilt, or even biodiversity in the abstract. It's about relationship, about what we owe the wild lives that share the land with us. The black-footed ferret reminds us that the health of a place isn't measured by its productivity, but by its complexity. That the worth of a landscape isn't in how much we can take from it, but in how much life it can hold and the resilience that that affords. That the measure of our success as a society might just be whether the smallest predator on the plains still has a place to hunt, and whether the prairie dog towns beneath our feet are still alive and barking.